Hey guys, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to get a couple love messages, see what your person wants to say to you. Uh, do keep in mind this is going to be a general read, so if you pick a pile and it's not resonating, feel free to look at another pile, or you can listen to all three, or it just may not be your reading today, and that's okay because these are general. So uh, use your intuition and take what applies, okay? All right, I will have timestamps below if you guys are interested in personals. All that info is below as well, and we will dive in with pile one. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Um, so we're going to do a quick energy check-in just to make sure you got the right pile. And then we'll get some messages and find out what it is your person wants to say. So, uh, by the way, I am using the energy oracle for this. So uh, if you're interested in that deck, I do have the, the link in the description. Okay, well, we have the third eye chakra in the reverse. Blossoming abundance in the upright third chakra so that's the solar plexus chakra in the upright okay and then we have the crown chakra in the reverse father rest and rejuvenation okay well i um the energy i'm getting from this pile one is that your person is very self-focused right now um feels like there is a uh an overconfidence thing here going on with the third chakra in the upright and the other two in the reverse so they're not listening to spirit they're not um, they're very in the 3D. Okay, so they're very 3D oriented. This person does, and I think what the energy is saying, they need to take a step back. Somebody needs to do some reflecting here. Okay, uh, they're too focused on this, right? The blossoming abundance, and I think it's kind of went to their head for some of them here. Okay, um, right, and the third eye is just blocked and also the crown. So really none of the spiritual downloads are kind of getting through to this person right now. All right, so that is going to be the energy check-in for you guys. Uh, it sounds like your person. I'm going to keep going here, actually, so we can get a little more, and we'll find out um, what's going on. Yeah, care and connections. Okay, so they're not listening to their intuition here about this connection. Somebody's kind of blocked it off, and I'm getting that somebody intentionally put a wall up to this because they don't want to look at it right now. They're too focused on, on something else. So it's just kind of what's in the energy. <laughs> Let's see anxiety whatever it is i am going to tell you i think it's weighing pretty heavy on this person because even though they're not listening to uh to the universe and the signs and stuff they're overworking it feels like this person is overly focused on something in the 3d okay and it's giving them anxiety because you know they do feel this connection with you they're just trying to shut off their intuition is what's happening okay all right what's that next yeah, it's, uh, it's attachment and it's in the reverse. This person needs to let go of something here, okay? Uh, for a lot of you, yeah, they may have been the ones to walk away as well. Um, but they need to let go of some of the pride is what I'm getting here. They're, they're too focused, again, on material things. So that is what I think <laughs> the universe is trying to convey here in the energy uh, for whoever this is. Okay. To our spirit isn't that crazy and it's it's <laughs> i mean uh yeah this is just basically telling them that they need to whoever this is needs to reconnect they need to time out they need to take a step back from the 3d they need to go within it is kind of that it's blocking all this anxiety and stress that they've been accumulating here by having these um material attachments is really blocked off their intuition and i want to say that <clears throat> this person feels very intuitive by nature and that they've purposely done this because they don't want to see it again i'm getting cognitive dissonance for some of them you know and so it's causing anxiety because the more they focus on this uh for some of them they do have a group around them like a social group that makes them feel that they have to do this so like keeping up with the joneses type of stuff i don't know it's going to be different for everybody uh, but it's really weighing on them because they've shut off the spiritual aspect of themselves and they're very, they're very just focused, right? On, on things that don't really matter. Okay. It's <laughs> the last one out here. Yeah. The man holding the coin. Okay. Well, we're, we're talking about somebody again, who is focused on work. They're focused on finances and they're putting this connection on the back burner. Yeah, you know, and I think that the universe is trying to get their attention, like, wake up, wake up, you know, you need to let go of some of this. Okay. So, all right, pile one. Well, this is who we are going to be reading on. So if this sounds like you, we'll go over and get some messages and see what this person, what their higher self wants to say to you here. You know, I mean, 
clearly they've got some work to do. So <laughs> um, it looks to me like a lot of you are probably going to be in little to no contact with them. Or you're just wondering what the heck's going on because maybe they've been, you know, they haven't been giving any time and energy to this connection. All right. Okay. All right. What does Pile One's person want to say to them? I wasn't looking for love, but I found it with you. Right. And I don't think this person was. I, I think they were, again, very 3D focused. And for some of you, this just kind of fell into play. It's like it was a weird meeting or it was weird timing, however you met them. Um, and again, I think that's why a lot of them have tried to put this on the back burner because it didn't jive with what they have going on right now. Uh, but we did see the anxiety, so I do feel like this person's really starting to feel uh, the weight of their choices, what they're choosing over, you know, what they're being called to do internally here. Okay. <clears throat> you changed my life in the best ways. I've grown so much because of you. And I don't know if you would if you would see this in the 3D with this person, but on on the inside. Um, you notice we didn't see the heart chakra, so I do feel like there's something there that you awakened within this person, even though they're not listening to the, the you know, their intuition or spirit or anything like that. There is something here where it's like, I'm just picturing the Grinch. I don't even know why that could be relevant for some of you. <laughs> um, and so now that the other imbalances are kind of there and we see the solar plexus where it's, it's that confidence thing, I think it's, um, <clears throat> it's getting to the point where it's kind of starting to take a toll on them. So I wouldn't be surprised physically if this person's starting to feel this, right? Because, um, again, they, they have, uh, they have to take a look in and it it's just like this i feel like this person has a lot on their plate they're being pulled in a lot of different directions and so they go 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 so much so that the 3d world just distracts them so even when they do get time alone their mind's probably still going about the daily stuff right so it's almost like this person doesn't feel like they have an a minute in the day to connect with with a higher power here right okay let's keep going I keep trying to distract myself from thinking about you, but it never works. Yeah. And that's what, that's what I was saying. They tried to put this on the back burner, but it just keeps creeping up. Right. So, you know, they can fight this, they can stay focused on whatever it is in the 3d, but it's just going to get more and more. So, right. They're, they're, they're going to find themselves completely imbalanced at some point here where it's just taking a complete toll until they take a look and address what's really going on. Okay. I see signs about you everywhere. It's like the universe is guiding me to you. Yeah, and uh, that's what I was saying. They're trying to get them to wake up here is what's happening. Okay, they want them, whoever this is, to connect back to source. And this person has tried to cut ties with it because it doesn't fit in to their lifestyle, right? Um, I, they're missing the bigger picture here. And that's why the universe is like really trying to just slap them around and wake them up here. You know, and for some of them, it is going to take like, just hitting like complete exhaustion here for them to finally take a step back and see what they've been doing, you know? So it's not only like hurting you guys, it's hurting the, their themselves as well, uh, mentally and physically here. I've tried to forget you, but it seems impossible for me to do. Yeah. They keep trying. They keep trying to distract themselves as well. Um, keep their focus on the things that they know, the things that they can see, that they can touch, you know, that are right in front of them, that people tell them to, that they should be focused on. Uh, but it doesn't work because again, they're getting signs, you keep popping in their mind and they know deep down that it's time for a reassessment here, you know, just of how they've been living in general. All right, let's get some more. I hate to admit it, but I get jealous of other people who get to spend time with you. Right. And I think that this person, it, it, the more, um, and then they try to distract themselves more. Right. But the thing is here is that they're not giving the time and energy to you. They're focused elsewhere, but at the same time, it is kind of selfish because they don't want you to go do that. Even though they're busy, they, you know, they get jealous. They, it's almost like they feel like they're obligated to continue the way that they have been living. Right. So, and again, we can see that they're kind of disconnected at the moment from source. So they're not getting 
these intuitive downloads, you know, and the, the universe is just like, come on, you know, I mean, um, so it is, it's starting to show in different ways for them. I think the frustration is starting to build here. If they do see you on social media or they see you out and they see you with other people, it's like this thing of them kicking themselves because they know better, but then they, they just go back to that and they suck it up and they hold it all in. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. No one else compares to you. I can't move on from your love. And again, I was getting the heart chakra thing. I think your love hit differently than whatever it is that they're attached to. Even though they weren't looking for it, they can't forget it. It's one of those things. And uh, if they've tried to find it in anybody else or even in the material things, I think this person is starting to see that that kind of stuff doesn't really bring that kind of satisfaction, right? That That you guys do or that you gave them or that you showed them. Whatever it is, you've changed this person and um, they really can't shake that, okay? So it, it didn't it didn't suit their lifestyle to meet you guys, but again, yeah, I listen, I'm not surprised we see this, this card coming out. I felt a soul shock the moment I fell for you. And it is true, it is true. And this person wasn't out there looking for it. I think they were very focused. But nonetheless, here here you were, and it did change them, and it changed how they uh, thought about things. But then I feel like this person just, it was easier to stay with what they had than to explore this with you guys. So, okay, let's keep going. Your strength amazes me and intimidates me at the same time. For a lot of you, you've had to be strong throughout this because I think a lot of you could see the signs. Like you could see what this connection was and you could see how your person was just, you know, overwhelmed by the life that they had. And um, you guys actually gave this person, I think, I think you had a great amount of patience with them. Um, and I think you were hoping for the same in return here. So they see that and I think they're aware of that and I think that is the part that when they think about you pile one is really makes them start to maybe crack open that third eye right like oh should I go into this more um they're having a hard time it's like rocking a hard place here for them okay all right last one I need to control this connection because I feel I could lose myself in you. Um, and it's true and it's true. And I think that's why this person goes distant sometimes. So like, you know, I think that they want to give more and then they stop themselves because then they, then they get in their head and they start thinking about, well, I've got this and this and this, and I, I just don't even have time. I just don't even have time to look into this. Um, <clears throat> They need control, and I do feel like, again, this person has a lot on their plate, and they are used to control, so for a lot of them, it's like business owner type stuff. They've got a lot going on where they just have to be in like 20 different places at once, um, and they feel if they give into this connection right now, it will make them lose focus of all the other responsibilities because they're already having a hard enough time as it is to stop thinking about you, even though they've tried. Um, they have to control it by not giving to this right now because it would like snowball into them just completely giving all in, you know, uh, giving in, taking the rest and actually opening up and seeing. It means for them if they do this, it's a big lifestyle change, right? And we all have the fear of the unknown. So this person, you know, all the responsibilities, like, well, how could this ever happen? You know, I think about it, but then it's like, uh, you know, all the stuff that's involved, like everything I'm involved in, this would just change everything. Um, so they do try to control it and they try not to think about you here, pile one, but it seems inevitable. So I will say this person needs to do some work. They do need to take a time out. And I think spirit's really calling them to reassess what it is that they once thought was important here. Um, and you know, I mean, changing, <laughs> changing it up completely can be very scary. Um, but sometimes, you know, if we're on a path where we're just like self-destructing and nothing changes and we're just stuck, then you know what? I mean, sometimes the universe sends, sends us signs and then when we don't listen, it just slaps us in the face. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> I think if this person doesn't um, start to, again, examine their situation, it's going to start getting a lot heavier for them. So pile one, and it's all been, I think, because of you. And I think this was probably orchestrated in some way, the meeting you um, so that they could loosen up these old outdated beliefs of 
feeling obligated to do certain things that their soul really doesn't feel called to do anymore, you know? So, wow. All right, Pile One. Well, pretty specific message. Hopefully it, uh, it reached whoever it needed to today. And I would love to hear if it resonated with you guys. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye, Pile One. Hi, Pile Two. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to take a look and find out what it is your person wants to say. Love messages from their higher self here. But we're going to start with an energy check in here just to make sure you got the right pile. So if it's not resonating, feel free to take a look at another pile. Uh, but by the way, this is the energy oracle card. So if you guys are interested, the uh, link for these is below. All right, let's see. Blossoming Abundance coming out in the upright. The Thinking Woman. Oh, man holding a heart. Okay. Rest and rejuvenation and deceit in the reverse. Feels like for you, Pile 2, this person wants to... <laughs> I don't know if you've been overthinking this. It feels like for some of you, you took a break. You took a break here because it just you, you were just overthinking. Um, this person wants everything with you here, though. So I don't know if a timeout was needed here, you know, uh, for the man holding a heart in the upright, in the center. This is kind of the overall energy of, of what's going on here. With deceit in the reverse, this could definitely be somebody coming clean, right? Like opening up here, <laughs> opening up so that uh, this connection can can start moving you know, moving along. It's, it's clear that there's a mutual love here. Um, but I feel like for some of you, maybe you overthought this. Let's keep going. Let's start with that blossoming abundance. Door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah. For some of you, you were confused here about where this was going. You questioned yourself. Like, is this person even interested? Are we going to do this? You kind of took a rest. You took a breather. You stopped overthinking this. You almost detached for some of you. Okay, this is calling whoever this is back in. I don't know. They want to fix something here. Um, this is everything. You've got a great energy coming in. So if this was starting to feel stale for you, Pile 2, um, it feels like there is a new wave of something coming into this connection. Okay, <laughs> the thinking woman. What's spread with her? Storm warning. Right. I think you guys pulled out before it got too bad. <laughs> I'm just going to say. It feels like you you got to a point where you were overthinking and then finally you were just like, okay, I'm giving it up to the universe. I'm going to focus on myself here um, and I can't control what whatever this person's going to do. So I think you guys did. I think you got out before it got too crazy for you here, uh, which was a good call because I feel like once you did the detachment thing, here they come. Okay. <laughs> Man holding a heart. Let's see what's up with him. Anxiety. Well, this person's nervous. They're nervous about coming back in. You know, they're having some fear. I think they see you guys doing your thing over here. And I think you guys have healed um, from a tumultuous, the tumultuous time here, probably due to this connection. Okay. So um, they want to come back in. They want to approach. And I think they want to be honest with you with the deceit card and the, and the, reverse it's talking about honesty okay so somebody um definitely wants to maybe express something make something right here tell you some truths i don't know okay what's rest and rejuvenation <clears throat> strategy in the reverse it's almost like you guys had no idea what was happening here and you just kind of handed it over it's what i was saying <clears throat> it, it got to a point where you started overthinking it and you just gave up and you just you're just letting like the universe take over here so, okay, kudos pile two. <laughs> Deceit in the reverse, what is this? The thinking man, right. Okay, I like this energy pile two. I, you know, I think I've only used the energy oracle cards like once before, but um, with pile one, I thought we got a pretty clear energy of what was going on. So you guys will have to let me know uh, in the comments below if you like this, if it kind of gives a heads up before we get into the actual reading and maybe we'll just start incorporating these too. Uh, it is. It's this person wants to come clean about something. I think they've held on to some truths here. They want to give it to you. You know, he's looking at this. What is that a crystal? I think. I don't know. You know, you both overthought this. You both overthought this. This was like a, a needed break, I think, between the two of you. This person wants to come back in and make something right. Okay. So they're thinking about how to express something or tell you their truths. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. How to? Well, this is this is the energy for the read. So if this resonated, we're going to go over here to the, um, to the message cards now, and we'll see what this person wants to tell you here. 
uh, from their higher self. So I want to protect you from the toxic situations in my life right now. This person could have a lot going on. They could be connected elsewhere. Um, and that could have been why they never came clean about something here. They never expressed feelings. They never told you this. They just didn't want to get you involved maybe uh, in something that they already had kind of going, right? All right, let's get another one. <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of competition for you. It makes me insecure. Yeah. I mean, that could totally be the case too. And I think that's why you, Pile 2, overthought this. You were thinking like, well, what the heck? Like, you know, I, <laughs> I don't have a problem you know, with suitors here, but why isn't this person telling me how they're feeling here? Um, well, it's because, yeah, they are insecure and I do feel like they have a lot going on. So it was just an easier a roll of the dice here for them not to say something here, right? So it was a risk basically to tell you because for one, they feel like, you know, you have competition. For two, if they do have something else going on, like, why would you want them when you could have anybody else? Like, why would you want to get involved with their mess, <laughs> with whatever that is? It's going to be different for everybody when you have options here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm having anxiety over how to fix things with this, and I'm not sure I can give you what you need. This person does still feel like their hands are a little bit tied, like they're involved in something. And, you know, uh, whatever that is, family situation, work, I don't know what they have going on here. Um, they want to fix something. And we saw the anxiety, right? So <laughs> clearly this is backing up the energy inner energy cards here. They want to come tell you something. They want to tell you how they feel. Um, but you know, they've got a lot going on. So, uh, so it doesn't feel like this is going to happen like immediately here for you guys. This is what they're thinking about though. So both of you have been thinking about this connection, either like, even if you're in no contact here, both of you are still thinking about it. And this person does know that they've got to come clean here at some point. So maybe they're waiting for this chaos to kind of, uh, subside. I mean, we did see storm warning, right? Um, so that could definitely be, <laughs> that scenario here. If your person's connected elsewhere, I mean, maybe they have to tie up loose ends first before getting involved here. Okay. So it's, it can resonate differently. So just take that how it applies, but kind of the gist, I feel like you're too good for me and sometimes wonder what you see in me. And this goes with this, right? They feel like there's a lot of options. They're like, why do you want to get involved with me? I've got so much going on. Um, it is kind of that. Okay. <laughs> You guys will definitely have to let me know below if this is if this is specific to you guys because I feel like this is some a specific energy that's coming through here today. Yeah, I see your glow up and it makes me want to become a better version of myself. So I do think that this person probably stayed quiet, but we saw with your with your cards um, in the energy check in is that you guys did you pulled back, you focused on self, you did the healing work, and now you're coming into this blossoming abundance. And it's funny because I was getting glow up energy for you with a thinking woman. And it's like you almost lost yourself here and this connection. And then you caught yourself right before it got too intense and you switched, you know, you shifted, right? So they see it too. And I think that's kind of what spurred them to start to get real with the situation. Like what, what it is that they need to do. Like they need to step up too, right? Otherwise you're going to be so far ahead of them by the time they come around and wrap up whatever they've got going on over here that it's not going to be the same, right? So, okay, well, let's keep going. Life without you has been so hard. I can't stand being away from you. It does feel like for a lot of you, little to no contact here. This person does, they want to tell you the truth though. So, I mean, it feels like a matter of time. Could be a timing thing for them. Um, but whatever this is, it feels like they are doing this because they're really feeling like their hands are tight. So if they push you guys away or they're not in contact here, it's not that they're not thinking about this because they are, but it just makes sense to them <clears throat> rather basically to, to be quiet than to say something that they, you know, that could, I don't know, like throw a wrench into this connection more so than already has been, right? So I don't know. I think um, instead of rolling the dice here right now, they chose to play it safe, okay? All right, next one here. I'm scared you won't love the real me. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we see. I think under the surface, okay. Outward appearances with this person, I am getting that uh, they probably keep it, keep it together, right, on the surface. Underneath it, 
their life seems to be in a little bit of chaos right now and I think they try to hide it um, and I think they may have some sort of anger problem here as well I'm just getting that for some of them that you haven't seen and so it makes them even more hesitant to come to come forward here right so it is that and also they feel like there's competition so you know I don't know I mean they're putting you on a pedestal here they have a lot going on and they are just literally I'm just getting like why do you want me why do you want me I don't know so for some of you that may resonate I mean maybe your person told you that okay next one it's getting harder to hold myself back from you um right and that's why this person we saw the thinking man really trying to think of a way to tell you the truth here about something okay so how that applies I don't know but they're getting to the point now they see you guys moving on and it is one of those things they can't stop thinking about you but they've got a lot going on but they need to do something you know so they're they're right there like just I'm just imagining the two of Pentacles right now like what do I do okay let's get the next one I'm planning on surprising you. I just have to work out the details. Right. So regardless of, of the insecurities here going on and what they have going on, I think they do have a certain timeline in their head. Okay, so again, if this is work or family, I don't know, but it's almost like, okay, well, once I once I reach this mile marker here, I'll go ahead and uh, reach back out to Pile 2 and I'll let them know how I feel. I'll, or at least give them a little, a little inkling of it. Okay, um, because it does feel whatever this is. I'm just imagining like a tangled mess here. So it could take a little while for them to get their ish in order here to where you would want them to be piled to. The fact is the feelings are still there. You're both thinking about each other. And I think this person need, knows that they need to come clean about something. So again, I'm getting Page of Cups vibe off this. So, you know, they could just pop up. <laughs> All right, let's get the last one out for you guys. I ran because I don't feel worthy of a love like yours. Yeah. It ties us back to the whole the whole energy here. You know, I mean, they've got stuff going on. You guys are on a glow up. Now it's like, you know, they didn't know what to do. They didn't really want to involve you in what they had going on because it wasn't fair, right? So they ran because it was easier than telling you the truth, that they have feelings, that they think about you just the same, um, and that you've changed them, right? So... Yeah, I think you're inspiring this person. And again, if they've got stuff that they've got to get out, karmic cycles that they need to close out, uh, your glow up and watching you has inspired them to start this. So also, and that's why it's getting harder because I feel like they want to talk to you. They're to a point now where they're starting to see maybe how they could do this, how they could come out of that big giant mess that they have. <laughs> um, and so I think they are getting a little excited. They're getting clarity. At the same time, there is that self-worth thing like, man, if you see the real me, are you actually going to love me? Is this going to be worth it? Yeah, I don't know. This person seems like they're pretty hard on themselves, like um, definitely some self-worth issues going on here. But at, this, at the end of the day, I think they met you for a reason here. Okay. And um, I think... Yeah, you definitely inspired them here to make the changes pile too. So, wow. All right, pretty specific message. I'm going to leave that here. I would love to hear if this guy, if this resonated with any of you guys out there. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And if you're interested in personals, all of that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, pile two. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're going to take a look and find out what your person's higher self wants to say to you, uh, love messages from them. And we're going to start by doing just an energy check in here with the energy oracle cards. So um, you guys can tell if you pick the right pile here. So clearly, if they start coming out, you're not resonating. Um, feel free to take a look at another pile. Okay. All right. What's the energy here for pile three? Angel of love. Okay. The first chakra. A lot of you could resonate with Archangel Michael as well. Um, man holding a coin. Okay. Angel of strength. You guys are like, there's like a lot of angel energy around this connection around you um, as well, pile three. Like I, I think, <laughs> I think that's what we're kind of getting. Some of you guys could be a Leo, dealing with a Leo. Let's see. Let's keep going. And appreciation. Wow. Well, I'm going to tell you, Pile 3, whoever this is, I think this person, financially stable, I think they could be focused, uh, very focused on maybe building a business here. Um, 
this person appreciates you. There's a strong sense of like you give this person inspiration. You inspire them. They're, they love you. They're very passionate about you as well. Um, there's something here about you, your presence grounding them. I don't know. You've been an inspiration or something. You've helped this person create, uh, build their finances. It, it is something like that. Like meeting you changed this person. It made them want to be better. Okay. Let's keep going here. We'll get a little more. What's wrong with the angel of love? The door to value. You change this person's life. I, I, they, they felt unappreciated. If you see how that is going, um, by the way, for those of you listening and not watching, it's door to value in the reverse. So it's the only reverse card that we have out so far. Um, you've changed this person's world. Okay. I think that they never felt appreciated by a lot of people. I think they may have felt used or just kind of going through the motions here. But when they met you, it was completely different. You know, I think you gave them a sense again of like inspiration or something here. Pile three. <laughs> All right. Let's spread with the first chakra here. Yeah, blossoming abundance and it's in the reverse. I think this person was may have been going through a hard time financially when you met them or they may have been transitioning jobs here. There was something where they felt like their uh, their foundation was unstable, okay? And meeting you changed that for them. So, I, you know, wow, pile three. I, again, and I think, I think that if you don't know how much this person appreciates you, um, I mean, I think, I think the message cards are probably going to show it because they do. It's like, it's very deep. It's very deep uh, appreciation for you guys and what you've done. And, and again, you probably wouldn't know, you know, I think this person again, man holding a queen, they could be still very busy, but, uh, under it all, I think it was you, this connection that's put them on this path. Okay. Really, really made them see their worth, that they are worth being loved, that they're worth all this, all the good things, right? Okay, what's red with what's red with him? Cornucopia. Okay, well, this person's on a glow up here, so and it's all because of you, pile three. So pat yourself on the back here. <laughs> yeah, no, they've they've found they've seen the light here. They've seen their self worth. They honestly like put you on a pedestal here. I honest, I mean, you've changed this person, pile three. Okay, angel of strength. They want to tell you this too. That's it. For some of them, with, okay, by the way, this is the fifth, fifth chakra. So Archangel Gabriel. Um, yeah, they want to tell you this. I feel like a lot of them have not voiced this yet to you. That's why we see the strength card because I feel like this person does need the confidence and the strength up here to tell you just how much they appreciate and love you here for what you've done, right? Okay, let's keep going. This is sweet. Look at that, the happy family. Okay, well, pile two, this person wants everything with you and I don't know your situation in the 3D, but you've changed this person, you've inspired this person. Um, they know that you are their match, okay? You would make a great life partner here. They see this and it feels like, it feels like this person's world has literally done a 180 since meeting you here, which I, again, and I was getting that they, they were kind of in a darker place. You know, that could have been spiritually, that could have been mentally, um, or it could be like in the 3D, you know, financially as well. But whatever it is, there's a rainbow here. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I think this person really wants to let you know that, <laughs> you know, so this sounds like you. We're going to dive over and we're going to take a look at what they would say here um, to you or what their higher self wants you to know. Clearly a lot of love and admiration here for you, Pile 3. I'm scared you won't love the real me. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, and again, and I think that this person dealt with some issues from the past, uh, self-worth issues. And again, it's fitting for the first card to come out here because it is like that. They put you on a pedestal here. Like how could they ever give you what you've given to them? You know, it's kind of the energy here. Let's get the next one. I know you can see right through me and it makes me nervous. A lot of you are healers. So I'm getting that and uh, very intuitive. So empaths. Um, and I think that you do see this person and I think that you've seen the dark in them. And I think that you you also see the light and I think that's why you've inspired them because I think everybody else has seen, you know, just what, what it is that they show to the world. You know, they keep all the shadow aspects underneath but there was a lot of it there. Meeting you, yeah, it exposed it a little bit but that's also what helped crack this person open 
to the fact that there's somebody here that sees the real them, that does love them, even though they're still scared that maybe you haven't seen it all. But I think you kind of know what's there, Pile 3, if you know this person. I think you can sense it. I think you're very intuitive. Um, and I think this person, again, they're a little scared that maybe there's more that could scare you away. Like, oh, Pile 1 stuck with me through this, but what about if they knew this? You know, mm, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> what's the next message? I miss you so badly, but I refuse to admit it right now. My ego won't let me show it. Um, there's something here again, and I think this person is in a state of glow up here. So they could be increasing finances. They could, their business could be taking off. It feels like they're just getting more responsibilities here. Um, and they're starting to actually feel good about themselves. So it could come off as a little cocky. You know, I, and they do know that you see right through them. So it is kind of that, like, you know, a little embarrassing for them because they are finally like happy about themselves for once. And, um, you know, they kind of don't want, they want to tell you, but then again, they don't like, because it's because of you. Right. So, all right, let's keep going. I'm planning on telling you how I feel. I just like, what, what did we just see in the energy card? That was it. That was the whole angel of balance or angel of strength, whatever that was. They want to tell you. They want to tell you this. Okay? But there's there's that hesitation because the self-worth issues are still there. Okay? So this person has changed their life. If they're on their way up, the, the old ways are still there. I mean, they're not gone completely. This person is getting an ego boost. And I think you guys gave that to them for sure. Pile three, you gave them the confidence that they needed to do this and the inspiration as well. Um, but they still have that ego stuff going on. They've got the self-worth stuff going on and you know, it's a mixture of both here. It's kind of a, a difficult energy to pinpoint here, but I kind of get the gist of it. So it's, they want to tell you, uh, they don't, <laughs> I don't know. They just don't want to come off too cheesy and like, you know, <laughs> blow their cover here. All right. Life without you has been so hard. I can't stand being away from you. Um, yeah, for some of you, you could be in no contact with this person. And again, I think it's just one of those things where they're, it feels like they may be, again, they're getting some kind of confidence boost. They are trying to work on something. It feels like they got a taste of it and then, then they... They want, like their whole goal here is to just really impress you guys because it feels like they want to, they want to plan that future here with you, but they want it to be absolutely amazing because that's the only way they feel that they can repay you for what you've done for them. Okay. If that makes sense. So it's like showing versus telling. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. What's the next one? Your strength amazes me and intimidates me at the same time. Again, that's that appreciation and they, they are a little intimidated here, right? Because I think you guys have went through a lot um, that have made you who, who it is that you are and made you, you know, really show this person what they could be. So it's a little, it's a little that back and forth, right? That's what I was saying. It's like, they view you as somebody so confident, so intuitive, so loving at the same time, like you're all encompassing. Okay. And this person is really just starting to wake up to the fact that they too are also capable of this. Um, and I think they're just, they're just slower to get to that conclusion than you guys are. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get the next one. I'm nervous about telling you the truth, right? This person's nervous. And that's sort of sad. I mean, we've got two cards out. There are 78 cards here, just like the tarot. Um, you know, and it's, it's this, this person's nervous. Okay. They, they've got to get the courage up here to tell you the truth. Um, and they know that you're due for the truth, That that's the least they can do, but they almost want to have something to show for it as well. Right. Um, to show you that they weren't just a waste of your time, that your investment in them actually was worth something. Right. So they're nervous. They're going to do it. <laughs> this person's eventually going to do it. You know, I mean, um, yeah. All right. File three. Let's see the next one. I ran because I don't feel worthy of a love like yours. Yeah. Uh, this person probably did get scared. You know, I'm not going to lie. I think, I think they got a taste of what they could be. And then they're like, well, crap pile three already knows who I am. So they know that it's probably because of them. And I don't think that you guys even care. Like it, you were glad to help this person. You were glad to support them. Um, it, it goes back to that dark stuff that I was talking about that I think um, they've kind of felt for a while here, like throughout their life. So it's that self-worth thing, right? 
Okay. They do have a, a defense. It feels like this person did build like a defense mechanism up. And I think you guys cracked that barrier though. So they're still like, oh, you know, how much do I let pile three in? Because it feels like they already know everything, but maybe they don't, you know? Yeah, I need more time to work on myself. That's it. I, I, you know, whoever this is, and you guys will definitely have to let me know in the comments below if you know who this is, they're going to do it. That's what I was saying. They want to tell you the truth. They've got to get more confidence or again, for a lot of them, they're working on something to show you, <laughs> you know, to actually show you that they're, that they're serious this time. Um, and that you basically were the inspiration for all this. So I don't know. I mean, for some of them, could be thinking about moving, buying a house. I don't know what this would entail, right? But they're doing the work, really trying to muster the courage up to to let you know how appreciated you are, Pile 3. Really the energy I'm getting from this pile, this person just really values and appreciates you. Yeah, sometimes even I don't know I, why I act the way I do towards you, but I'm sorry. They don't. They don't know why they would, they would act like this to somebody who has given so much. But it really, it stems from that, that, long-standing belief that they've had about themselves that nobody can really love them this can't be real pile three will just hurt me they don't they're not really gonna love the real me right and so then they run they get scared um, but at the same time then they're they're pulled back to you because when they look at everybody else in their lives it, they're still just wearing the mask I mean they're still just going through the motions here but with you it was way different you are their inspiration and they got scared okay they got scared of not being worthy for you of it failing of you know just you being like this angel and they're over here not <laughs> you know I was gonna say devil but I'm not because this person is not I feel like they've they've went through a lot here okay and I think you pile three have really um shown them what they can be so again very inspired by you pile three and it's very sweet energy and I think you've really um you've really changed this person and I feel pile three this person really is going to tell you as soon as they as soon as they get to what it is that they're planning on getting to here, where they feel confident enough to do this, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it here today. I would love to hear if this resonated with you out there. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. And if you're interested in personals, all of that is below. All right, my loves, I will talk soon. Bye, Pile 3.